thank you, Justine. Um, we started then to apply it in 2010. Uh, and for those nine years, we've been working on this technology. Um, and it's all about nitrogen. Nitrogen, the basis for all life, and at the same time, one of the worst pollution sources we have in our society. And we aim to fundamentally improve food production. Um, I'll draw the cow. Just to illustrate the idea and the technology, it'll take four minutes. You need to concentrate in those four minutes. And then afterwards, I'll give you my takeaways from being an entrepreneur for the last 20 years or, yeah, or so. Um, the cow. This is a cow. The cow eats grass. In this grass, we have 100% of the nitrogen. When this cow ends up at the slaughterhouse, only 10% of the nitrogen is part of the meat or the milk that this cow has produced over her life. The rest of the nitrogen is in the manure. So, from this manure, 30% of the nitrogen evaporates to air. 10% of this nitrogen runs off into water, and 1 to 2% of this nitrogen disappears as laughing gas. 1 to 2% is not very much, uh, but laughing gas is a climate gas that's 300 times stronger than CO2. So for farmers and food producers, the laughing gas issue is really fundamental. For the farmer, this is nutrition loss. This is really, really bad for his ability to reproduce. For society as a whole, this is pollution. This smells really bad, it's bad for your lungs, and it's bad for animal welfare. If we keep our attention on the farmer's um, uh, worldview, he takes his manure, spread it on the field in order to grow new grass. That way he can have as large a herd next year as he had this year. And in order to do that, he needs to replace the nitrogen he has lost. And he has lost approximately 50%, the 10% here, 30, 10. So approximately 50% of the nitrogen he needs to replace. The farmer do this by purchasing industrial fertilizer, produced from fossil gas in the Middle East and Northern Africa, or from coal in China. And this is... This is necessary. If you, if you are not able to have the fertilizer, only half of us in this room would be here. We would not be able to feed our populations without the fertilizer. But for the farmer, this is, for many of them, the largest variable cost they have. So this is the world food production. This is a tremendous business model for the fertilizer companies. 50% of what they produce every year is lost as pollution, and nobody will stop the production of fertilizers, since it's necessary for our survival. So what we do, the idea we have and I, that I'm working on, is um, on the farm. On the farm where the farmer is producing his food, it's air. And in air, it's 78% nitrogen, and it's 21% oxygen. We take this air into a machine with an electric arc. We split these nitrogen and oxygen atoms, we recombine them, and we produce something uh, and no gas. Nitrogen ox oxide. We need electricity in order to do this. And now, in our time, electricity is the green energy carrier. Farmers around the world, they have solar cells on their roofs, they have windmills in their fields, and they have biogas plants in their stables. And the price of this electricity is plummeting. When we started working on this idea in 2010, solar energy cost five times as much as it does today. This makes it possible to realize distributed process industry. And that's a major change in how we produce things in our world. Last century was the fossil century. This century is the electricity century. When we have the NO gas, we can use this for a lot of different things. In combination with biogas plants, in combination with solar farms, to treat the, the, the waste coming from fish farming, 
um, a lot of things. But the first things we do, um, that in Entoply we believe is the most um, significant thing we can do, we take the NO gas out of this reactor and we mix it with the manure. When the NO gas reacts with the ammonia, we create ammonium nitrate. That's a salt, it can be stored, and we can do a lot of things with it, and it eliminates this. When we eliminate the, the, the farmer's loss of, of nutrients, we also stop the smell, we stop the ammonia loss, and we reduce CO2 emissions substantially. And we do it, when we do this, the farmer also can eliminate his largest variable cost. In this way, we recirculate nitrogen on the farm, and we have stopped the fossil element into the world's food production. That's what we do. Thank you. This is, this is, normally I speak more to farmers type, and then they can understand what I'm saying, but you actually understood. That's, uh, that's great. Um, three things to remember when you're working as an entrepreneur. Um, first one, you never know where your idea will come from. In my case, it was on a dating website. Um, I was the CEO of Scotic. We were building companies in the renewable area in the, yeah, wow, in, uh, two, in uh, 2009. And it takes all their energy. And my colleagues at Scotic, they decided I needed to have a life. So they put an ad on this sukir.no. And there was a man sitting at Yara's plant in Libya and asked me, do you believe that um, Christian Birkeland's electric arc has a future? That's a very uh, difficult uh, first uh, uh, thing to answer. Um, but uh, and how can I know? I'm an economist. Uh, so, but we met, uh, we became partners, now we live together, and we've been building this company since 2010. So it's... Um, Next thing, which you also covered earlier, things take time. Um, we started with the two of us for the first seven years. Now we are 21 employees in Norway, but we also have a lot of partners around the world working on this because this market is primarily outside of Norway. Uh, but it takes a lot of time. Uh, this is industrial, this is, this is steel, this is... Um, this is not an app, um, it, it, it really takes time and it takes a lot of stamina to, to survive. <laughs> uh, the endurance and the ability to rise up again uh, when you have the punches that our last speakers talked about, because you have them all the time. The third thing I have to say, begging comes with the territory. Um, you live without salary for many years, that's, that's tough enough. And still, you have to really beg for equity money to build your company. It's not easy for investors to believe in a company with no revenues. And it takes many years before you can generate the revenues that they will really believe in. So the only thing making this worth it is that you're doing something that's really important. Um, we have done an analysis on which of the, the UN um, sustainability goals we are, we are directly affecting. Most of all, we make the farmer part of the solution. That's a really meaningful thing to do, to take the, the control of the nutrients and the, the, the control of how we make food back to the farmer. It's worthwhile. So, Ledig i ditt jobb till alla som vill vara med. Tack för mig.